Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to make a titration curve on Excel. As seen here, your data should be inserted into Excel with the independent variable x on the left and the dependent variable y on the right. In this case, we have volume of base on the left and pH on the right. Click on the first row of your data and select all of your data points. Go to the Insert tab and click on Scatter. However, since we are not creating a calibration curve or a graph with a straight line, we're going to pick the second one on the right, Scatter with Smooth Lines and Markers. Right-click the graph and choose Move Chart. Click on New Sheet and give it a specific name. Here I used titration curve. Now that we have moved the graph, you can edit it in the same way you would any graph, except it does not require a tread line or equation or R squared value on the graph. So first, delete the series legend, go to the chart tools, and add your figure title first, your axes titles, and your major and minor grid lines. So our independent variable, x, is going to be renamed to volume of NaOH added, and don't forget to add your units. and our dependent variable y is going to be renamed ph, which doesn't require units. Next, edit your chart title by giving it a descriptive title. For example, I'm going to give this graph a title that says figure one, acetic acid and NaOH titration curve of ph versus volume of NaOH added. You also want to consider uh, formatting the axes to have your data points cover as much of your graph as possible. So in order to do that, you want to click on the axis and go to Format Axis. And from there, you're able to adjust the minimum and maximum values by changing the settings from Auto to Fixed and adding the value you desire. Once that's completed, you can add a text box and add your name and student ID, as well as the date, or you can add an additional text box on the other side and add the date there, whatever you desire. With titration curves, you also want to get an expanded plot of your original graph. Now, in order to decide which data points to include, you want to find the steep region of your graph and include about two to three data points above and below the steep region. Once you've decided on those data points, you go back to your original data and you select all of the data in between those points. Now you may go to insert, click scatter, and pick the second on the right. So we want to move the chart and name it something unique again. So here I'm going to put expanded. And then we want to remove the legend. And we want to add our axes titles as well as our chart title and the major and minor grid lines. Format your axes again to have your data points cover as much as the graph as possible. 
So do this again by switching it from auto to fixed and adding in the desired values. Although previously I added my titles before changing um, my axes, you can do it in whatever order you would like. So now I've changed my scale of my axes and I'm going to go in and change the titles for both my chart and for the axes. Remember to add a text box, putting your name and your student ID, as well as the date, and then it should be good to go. Uh, I hope this video was helpful, and I wish you luck with making your titration curves.